Hey, what's up guys? We're uh, ready for our final video in the in-app purchase series and that is restoring your previous purchases. Now, uh, here you can see the, the purchase is not completed yet. Now in order to get there, I had to go into the app itself and go and delete this app, which, which I've already done, so I'm not going to do it again. And then go into settings and go to iTunes and App Store and go to the sandbox account and I signed out. So see it's asking me to sign in now. So now uh, all that's left is to add a button to restore the in-app purchase that we've done. And uh, it's pretty simple so let's get to it right now. And it's about as easy as uh, just adding a button and linking up an IB action. But the thing is uh, Apple wants you to be very obvious about um, about where you put this um, because they don't want you to, you know, every time somebody updates their phone or gets a new phone, they don't want to pay for the same in-app purchase, uh, things like that. So uh, be prepared for them to ask you where your in-app purchases are if you don't have any. Now, so you can see here, I've taken a navigation bar, put it on the top, and uh, we've set an exact amount for the height and pinned it to the top and sides so that auto layout can work its magic. There we go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a bar button item. Drag that onto the screen. And we're going to name this item restore. And we're going to link this item up to our view controller. via a control drag and it's going to be called restore pressed and in this restore press we just have to write one line of code and that is sk payment queue dot default dot restore completed transactions one more thing we have to add in the uh, the payment queue function here we have to add another possibility so it's going to be else if, put the else up here, else if transaction dot transaction state equals dot restored. We also we want to print restored and we want the purchase label dot text to equal purchase restored. So all right, let's run the demo. And uh, as you can see here, purchase not completed yet. We want to hit restore and we're going to sign in to the app store. And there we go, purchase restored. So um, that's how you do in-app purchases. Uh, I hope you found this video useful and uh, look forward to uh, seeing you some more. So thanks guys and ladies.